So what happens on a cloudy or a rainy day to the output of your solar panels? Let's find out. It's pretty overcast, not super dark, but it is uh, overcast. There's a little bit of breaks in the clouds every once in a while. I might get some full sun. Later on, we're supposed to get rain. So we should be able to get some pretty good measurements of what happens during cloudy weather and rainy weather. So I've got two arrays of panels, a total of 27 panels, and it gives me theoretically 4,800 watts of power. Or that's the number you get when you add together the rated wattage of all of the panels. However, in the real world, it never works out that way. Instead, what I actually see is around 3,500 watts, and that's in the middle of the day on a good sunny day which is about 73% of the rated value of the solar panels. So this is looking at the Victron app. I have two Victron chargers, and this is showing the first array, my charger A. But if you look over here, we can see the total of both of my arrays and both chargers showing up here on this network total power. I'm pausing this video and we can see we're just over 3,500 watts, which means that the sun has peaked out from behind the clouds just for a few minutes. Now it's uh, going back behind the clouds and we can see both this array wattage dropping down to 860 and the overall dropping down to about 17 or 1800 watts. So even though it's cloudy, I'm still charging my uh, Nissan Leaf at level one. It's drawing about 1,800 watts. You can see that all of the circuits, the EV and a few computers and things, are drawing about 2,000 watts. And I'm pulling a couple of hundred watts off of the battery here. We're about an hour later, and it is raining outside right now. It's still not super dark like it gets sometimes. The overall load on my inverter is still about 2,000 watts, but you'll see most of it's coming right now from the battery. I'm pulling about 1,700 watts off the battery. Let's go look at the Victron chargers and see how much solar we're getting. Okay, so off of the first array and the first charger, we're getting about 250 watts. If we come look at the overall, that's both of the arrays, we're getting 478 just a little less than 500 watts of power, even in the rainstorm. So in comparison, again, we had 4,800 watts of rated wattage on the panels. We actually get about 3,500 watts on a, on a good sunny day. So on a cloudy day, it can vary from as little as 800 watts, which is only 17% of the rated 4,800 watts. And it can go up to 2,000 or so, around 40% of the rated value. During rainstorms, I can get around 500 watts, which is around 10% of my rated value. Though some rainstorms, of course, get really dark outside and you don't produce any power at all. These are typical to the results I've had over the last several years. So on a sunny day, I'm seeing 73, 75% of my rated uh, wattage and on a rainy day however I'm only getting maybe as little as 10% or so. So obviously the weather has a huge effect on the amount of solar power that your panels can produce. But there's also a number of other factors that you have to consider. So I did a video covering uh, some of these factors and they include things like the angle of the sun as it travels across the sky each day as well as how the angle of the sun varies according to the different seasons of the year. I will put a link to this video at the end of the video that you're now watching, as well as down below in the description. That wraps it up for this video. See you in the next one.